Hey friends, welcome to week six. You've come so far and I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being a vegan and I hope you're feeling so much better now that you're not eating animal products. Uh, hopefully you guys have also found five new recipes from last week um, that are going to become your fallbacks. You're eating a lot more raw food now because you're experimenting with new recipes and new things. Uh, you can go looking for more recipes this week if you want. Uh, grab some uh, recipe books from the library or your local bookstore. Uh, Google more raw vegan recipes. Try and get a couple extra if you want to add that to your collection. That will be your other one. <laughs> challenge for this week is to find a couple more recipes. But the main challenge or task for this week is to download Chronometer or any other nutrition tracking program for your phone or use your computer. Um, the reason for this is because the number one problem that people encounter when they become vegan and especially raw vegan is that they don't eat enough food. They don't eat enough food because once you release the animal products, you're not replacing them with calories. And hopefully as you're moving through this challenge, I've really explained myself enough that you need to replace those calories with fruits and vegetables so that you are actually getting enough energy and enough nutrition from that. We know that calorie restriction equals nutrient restriction and we don't want to be doing that. We want to make sure that we're getting a broad variety of nu nutrients and calories so that we can function throughout the day and heal and be strong and healthy, vibrant and full of life. So we're going to download Chronometer and that's my favorite one. There's also my fitness pal that you can use as well, but I like Chronometer a lot. You can also use online www.chronometer.com and there's no H in that word. Uh, there's a link in the description below for that app. Uh, download that and I want this week for you to start tracking your week, your dietary intake. So enter all of your foods into Chronometer and find out how many calories you're eating per day. That is the number one reason why uh, vegans and raw vegans fail, because they're not eating enough calories. You want to aim for approximately 2000 calories is a great starting point and then move up from there. If you feel that you need more calories, if you feel more hungry, you should be eating food. You need that for your body to function properly. You don't want to be restricting. If you're eating anything less than I'd say 1700 calories, you're probably not eating enough food unless you're like five foot. But even then, 1700 is quite low uh, for a raw vegan. You're going to want to increase that to make sure you're getting enough of all the nutrients, um, as, especially those ones like protein that everyone complains that we don't get enough of. You're going to want to eat a lot of greens to get your protein. Um, you don't want to rely on nuts and seeds because those are high fat and we'll go into that again later. But uh, try to compensate for the calories with fruits and vegetables, fresh produce. So uh, download the, that app and start tracking your nutrition and, you know, gauge where you're at. Increase if you need to. Um, and if you are not losing any weight, I would highly suggest adding an exercise. We're going to be getting into the exercise part of this way later. But if you're exercising, awesome. Do it. You should be doing that anyways. But again, we'll talk about that way later. So Download that app, start tracking your calories, and find some new recipes for this week. If you guys like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel so that you get new notif notifications when I release other 52 to new you videos. Uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouFood, all at Raw Food Romance. So until week seven, guys, I'll see you guys later. Uh, fruit on!